Hello there fellow Thomas Chefs, I am back with the build on level 9 Critics Choice. This time I tweaked it to get 100%. Uh, this is very similar to the original build I had and I only had to make a few changes. So I'm going to go over it real quick. For the most part it's very similar. We have order readers for both the chicken melt and the plain burger. This is the plain burger one. When you use an order reader you just dispense the exact amount of ingredients you need. And I made some few changes here. I connected it to the electric grill and I said on while order is pending. And then I told the assembler to perform the action one time on a new order. So every time I get an order in, the assembler will make exactly one plain burger. And I'm saving power by doing this. We got the order reader for the chicken melt. This has four ingredients, so I'm going to use all of it for that. Uh, we see the chicken dispense one time, bacon one time, bread twice, and then cheese once. Here I have another second order reader for the chicken melt. Uh, this one is connected to the conveyor grill, the assembler, and the electric grill. So what I did was I set both to on while order is pending. And then I set the assembler to perform the action one time a new order. I'm not sure if this saves power, but the assembler does use a lot of power, so... This got me to 100%. These order readers plus setting all of the grills on power saving mode, that got me to 99%. I also set the assembler for the plain burger to power saving, but the assembler for the chicken melt is normal. Uh, all of the dispensers are set to 5 seconds, which is the default fastest timing you can get. Anyways, we want to take a look. So the chicken goes through the grill here. I needed space, so I used the conveyor grill. Otherwise, if you had space, you can use one grill and then, you know, just smart arm that off of there. Anyways, the cheese comes out of here with the cooked chicken, goes through the food processor, gets shredded, and it goes down the conveyor belt onto this dumb arm, which gets loaded into the melt assembler. Here we got the bacon going down here. Oh, we can get rid of this conveyor belt. Actually, we can't. We need the bread. Okay, the bread and the bacon go down here onto the grill. And that gets picked up by these smart arms and dropped here, which gets put into the assembler and then down here. For the plain burger, it's pretty simple. This comes out here onto the grill. The smart arm picks it up, cook patties, and then puts it down here. And then the bun comes out here, and then the outer arm picks it up and then puts it into the assembler. And why don't we give it a go again? The key things here, I have this order reader for the plain burger connected to the grill and the assembler. I have grill on while order is pending, assembler one time. I have a second order reader for the chicken melt and I have that connected to the conveyor grill, the assembler and the electric grill and I have that on while order is pending and then one time for the assembler. So I made some minor tweaks. I was trying to rack my brain around making the level, uh, the build smaller, but you have limited space. So this is the best I could do. So from there, the only thing you can really do is tweak power usage. And this is one handy tip. If you use one extra order reader, you'll probably get a boost in power efficiency, uh, your total efficiency by 1% if you can connect it to a grill and an assembler. The reason being the power reader, the, I mean the order reader does use power and it costs more money but the power that you save is more than the power that the order reader uses. So you have a net loss in power usage which is better for your efficiency score. So just gonna let it run. I want to come back and I want to see if I can make this more efficient by using only two grills. But I don't know if I have the space. I struggle with that. You can see here the grills are turning off when the order is not active. Uh, that actually saves enough power to make a difference right here too. The chicken melt I left to normal for the assembler normal mode instead of power saving because I believe it will slow down too much and then cause you to miss orders. I didn't try it though but I just needed enough to get it to 
There you have it, 100% efficiency on Critic's Choice. We met all three objectives. We spent 62,250, 194 ingredients used, and 2,470 watt hours. Uh, yeah, if you can make do without the conveyor grill, you can save a lot more, but I don't know how to fit it into a tiny space. Anyways, there you have it, folks. Hopefully, this is helpful. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, comments, things you'd like to see or for me to cover, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll try to get back to you as fast as possible. And as always, thank you so much for dropping by and hope you guys are staying safe and seeing out there. And I will catch you guys next time.